This past week may have been one of the strangest weeks the Roblox community has seen in many years. The situations we're looking at in this video may be first for Roblox as they both involve police investigating Roblox users. Yep, some random Roblox users have gotten into trouble with the police in two separate cases in two separate continents. I guess it's hard for some Roblox kids to be decent people in an indecent time, but that's how it is in a cruel world I guess. Jokes aside, both of these cases are fairly serious, with one being a lot more deep within the community than most have ventured to. And just so you know, my wording may be a little weird, it's just so the YouTube overlords don't get too mad at me. The first case we'll look at was reported three days ago and allegedly involves a couple of very angry Roblox players. According to 23ABC News in Bakersfield, California, there was a threat made against a place where kids are at due to a Roblox argument. Allegedly a 10 year old and a 14 year old in New York were beefing with someone on Roblox when they got into a Skype call. While in that Skype call, the 10 and 14 year olds allegedly made threats against their opponent's place of education. Although one of the suspects may be younger than my first Roblox account, the threats allegedly made aren't to be taken lightly. Their opponent contacted the Bakersfield police and an investigation was launched into these understandably concerning claims. Thankfully it was found out who the alleged suspects are and that they weren't of any real threat and far away from the targets. I don't think a 10 and 14 year old from Utica, New York will go to Bakersfield, California to do what they allegedly said they do. The situation appears to have been diffused but it still leaves a question as to how it even got to this point in the first place. How in the world did an alleged argument in Roblox boil over into Skype where serious concerning things would be said? I'm very curious to know the backstory of this investigation, like what game this may have started in or over what issues. Although the article shows a picture of some Puma game, so maybe it started there. How I have no clue, but maybe it's just a placeholder picture. The second situation is a little more serious and originates from the depths of Roblox most of y'all probably don't even realize exists. And again, there may be some silly pictures used as examples to make sure YouTube doesn't get mad, but try to take it seriously. According to Kotaku, a 16 year old was detained after being found to be a chief propagandist for his Roblox version of a bad group of people. Supposedly this guy had been tracked by Singapore's internal security department since he was 14 and only detained recently. The article says he used Roblox to recreate areas, play out scenarios, and basically recreate everything this bad group does. Whether it be building places, giving himself ranks, or playing out or fantasizing about doing similar things, it sounds like he may have done it all. Judging by the article, it sounds like this guy was super serious about his virtual version of this pretty bad real life group. He allegedly did that for two years, along with enveloping himself in other content involving the group on other platforms as well. He also was allegedly in contact with another person in Singapore who was arrested in December for an evil plan he had. Both of these people are supposedly with Singapore's authorities and are hopefully not of any more trouble to anyone. Now this case is mostly thought of as just some bypassed roleplay game gotten wrong or something like that, but it's possibly not. As crazy as this may sound, deep within the depths of Roblox's community there are people actually serious about recruiting for these groups. 99.9% .9 of people you see pretending to be these bad groups are just trolls or edgy players, but some are actually into them. And this sounds like one of those rare cases where a messed up fanatic of these groups tries to spread their stuff onto Roblox. I've heard of it before and I'm sure a few of y'all watching have too, but most probably haven't as this kind of situation is super rare. I've never stumbled upon one myself, but I've seen screenshots of in-game stuff and hard to find groups for it for. Fanatics are these groups and beliefs who try to recruit and spread their ideas within Roblox do exist and this case may be one of them. Thankfully both of these situations appear to have been diffused by the police and nobody is in any danger anymore.